Sunny Bonani, and shout out to everyone who made it to the channel today. Welcome to Motherland Chronicles. Today we will be looking at the top five richest kings in Africa currently. So if you're new to the channel, kindly hit that like and subscribe button and help us reach that thousand subscriber mark. Let's jump into it today. Number 5. King Misizulu Zulu, the oldest surviving son of the late King Goodwill Zuelitini, who has an estimated net worth between $6 to $19 million. He's number 5 on our list due to the fact that he's only recently been appointed as king and still has to be crowned. However, at the time of his father's passing, Forbes had put his net worth to roughly $20 million, which the new king would inherit the bulk of. Aside from this, the Zulu king receives an annual budget of roughly $6 million to fend for his household as of 2020, as well as various other grants and provisional spending given to traditional leaders. The, the Zulu king also shares a trust, which owns one-third of all habitable land in KwaZulu-Natal, which in 2019-2020 season was estimated to be $2.5 billion. Number 4. King Otumfo Osei Tutu II, who has an estimated net worth between 10 to $14 million. He is the king and spiritual head of the Godrej Ashanti Kingdom of Ghana, the largest tribe in the country. I'll leave a link for that in the description for you guys to check out. An accomplished man in his own right, he set up Transformers Ghana valued at $12 million, which offers mining equipment as well as owning a collection of valuable crown jewels and extensive real estate in both Ghana and South Africa. On the African continent, the Asantes are located in West Africa. They inhabited the central portion of present-day Ghana. This vast tropical forest region was endowed with rich mineral resources with an abundance of gold and timber. Number 3. King Moswati III of Iswatini formerly Swaziland, who has an estimated net worth of $200 million. The head of the Swazi royal family who rules as an absolute monarch has various sources of income, such as his control in an investment holding company that has stakes in companies such as Mbombo Sugar and Royal Swaziland Sugar Corporation. The company has assets worth over $140 million, which is said to be held in a trust for the people of Iswatini. It is also alleged he reportedly gets an annual salary of $50 million to fend for his household. Number 2. Oba Obateru Akinrutan, the traditional ruler of the Igbo kingdom in southwestern Nigeria, who has an estimated net worth of $300 million, much of which comes from his company Obat Oil, one of Nigeria's largest and leading privately held oil companies. The company owns one of the largest tank farms in Africa with modern storage facilities able to store 65 million liters of petroleum products. 
with more than 50 gas stations across six geopolitical zones of Nigeria. He also owns an extensive portfolio of residential and prime commercial real estate in Nigeria and London. Number 1. King Mohammed VI of Morocco, who has an estimated net worth between $2.1 to $5 billion. Much of the king's wealth comes from family businesses and investments. He also inherited a 35% stake in a holding company, SNI, from his late father, King Hassan. With SNI's biggest asset being allegedly a 48% stake in Morocco's largest bank, as well as stakes in other companies. The king is also a leading agricultural producer and landowner in Morocco. they were saying in Israel that the number one destination for Israelis is now Abu Dhabi, but they think that now will become Morocco. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.